what's going on everybody time for another video had some questions comments emails about talking about a fake randomizer or something it would be similar to that and about the randomizers people use so we're going to start off with story time here probably about over five years ago everybody always used random.org basically to uh get their uh randoms done whether it was for fillers or giveaways whatever it may be so all you would do is go on there Type it, or you'd put in what all you wanted down to random, numbered it out, or some people would even number it because it would number itself. And you know, you can either use virtual dice on an, on another piece of the uh, website, or you could roll your own dice, whatever you wanted to do. You know, push the random button. How many times it would go it would count for you at the bottom. It would give you a time and date stamp, IP address, and I think something else was on there too. That's how everybody did it. So probably roughly five years ago, um, there was an individual who copied random.org. What he did is he took the code, basically, and made an exact copy of random.org and used it to benefit him in uh, Razzes. And I'm not too sure if it was used in breaks or not. I didn't really get too far in depth with this back then. Because everything was going on with it. I wasn't, like, even part of these groups or nothing like that. You know, I, I just heard about it and started reading. And then, you know, I, I seen, uh, a, I could say, a post in a Facebook group, which explained a lot to it. It's really, really long and in-depth, so I don't want to take everybody's time up on it. But basically, he copied it, used it to his advantage, and the way it was talking, there was a group of individuals as well. So, yes, it is out there. There's There was a fake randomizer, which was on random.org that somebody copied. And um, a bunch of guys caught on to it very quickly. They end up emailing the guy who owns or the founder of Random.org. I believe his name was Mads Har, H-A-A-H-R. And what he did is he went in there, looked, but what because the, they copied the videos the guy ran and said, no, none of that was ran on my site. So they thought they'd be smart, and they mixed it up and gave somebody else's stuff with them as well, too, and mixed it in. Well, let's put it this way. The one that was running on fake random.org, he couldn't find anything on him. The other ones that were ran on random.org, he could find and verify that, yes, those are ran on my site. These ones weren't. So, big things went on with it. I, there was talks about lawyers, lawsuits, no idea what went on with it. Like I said, I just re read about and was, you know, what was really in shock that somebody would do something like this back then. But then again, you know, people always want to get over on a system. People get greedy, you know, money hungry. Again, like I said, I'm not mentioning any sites, names, nothing like that, because I don't know who all was involved, how it, you know, what happened with it and stuff like that there. But yes, it can be done, and it was done. So real quick, I'm going to show you... Let me pull this up, because I don't want to give what I was reading up over onto it. All right, this here is what random.org looks like now for a verified account. So how do you know it's a verified account, right? Check this out. I pay for a subscription every month. Whether I use it or not, sometimes I'll do stuff for other people, multi-round giveaways. Um, this just tells you the last giveaway somebody did up right here. And that says when it ends for me. All right, so you could put in a code to the video, and I'll show you guys where you get that at. So I would hit new giveaway. I'm just going to type in the word test or yeah, test because I don't want to like blow my computer up here. We'll roll the dice. We're only going to do two. Whatever comes up is good. Okay, seven. Then I'm going to put in A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So I go to the bottom, begin random. Final round, it says, boom. So E would have won, or EADBC would draft, however it may be. Right here, it says there's a verification code, all right? I could click that code. It'll bring up a new page. Guess what? It shows every round that I did, and it stays on random.org for 30 days. As you can see, when it da -da -da expires. But he can still check the stuff afterwards. That's why it's important to always point out the code and stuff onto it. So it stays in the database. Let me go back. All right. So if I go back to multi-round giveaways, 
I can always put the code in here. You could go to, like, if you would just click my name or type in, like, Extreme Car Breaks Random.org, it'll show you everything that I've done, all right? So, Random.org really was meant to be, and I can't do nothing because I'm in my paid account now offhand. So, I'm going to pull this off, close this out so I don't have more high computer usage because I was messing around on the other screen. All right. So, that's how everybody should be using random.org that would have known about that before because you want to stay as legit as possible out there. Not saying people that do it the old fashioned way, the free version way is wrong. Um, it goes in with the trust of the person, you know, how long they've been doing this, stuff like that. There, you know, I, I know breakers that use the free stuff, they don't use the uh paid subscription $25 unlimited a month. Same with other people doing giveaways and stuff like that there. Now, the next thing that I want to cover is there's a lot of sites that have like a random picker thing or comment picker and stuff like that. I'm going to be honest, I'm very wary of those. If I had something like 1,200 comments and I was doing a giveaway, I'd probably have to use one, but I would find one to page service to where it's recorded at. Because I'm not too sure how all those other ones operate. Like I said, I've always done random.org. That's it. I will take time to put in 150 to 200 names. It don't bother me. Um, it might take me an hour or two to do, then to re-verify. I mean, it's a painful thing on to it. But I want people who get into a giveaway, a break with me, whatever I'm using it for, to be feeling that it's secure. There's nothing sketchy going on or anything like that. Story. Guy used the random picker here recently. A ra or used something to spin the wheel thing. That's what it was. It was a spin the wheel. Because you know what? It looks cool. Let's spin the wheel, right? Um, and what happened was, so this is what's alleged, that his internet or something went out, and he just kept on going. Why there was no copy, I don't know. Because, see, I use XSplit. And regardless of my internet going out, my record button's always going to be on record. So, I, again, I don't know what he was using. Maybe he was just using his cell phone. I, I have no freaking idea. I just, you know, read it, and that's it. When people complain about stuff like that, you know. And every time I see it, I'm like, why not just do the right thing and spend 25 bucks a month, you know? Get a verified code, make yourself feel safe, and everybody else out there is safe that's doing that offhand. So, I, I'm very sketchy on the wills and everything like that. Unless they provide some kind of code how random.org is to where people can go back and check it. Other than just being on the uh, computer. Because ever since I've heard, I've known about the uh, random.org, um, I don't know, scandal or randomizer that was fake, that was mocked like it. Not saying random.org is fake, but somebody took the coding, as you guys know. And um, made their, made something look like it to where they could type in who they wanted to win or however they did. I, I have no idea. I'm not, you know, coding expert here or anything like that. But I've been always wanting to make sure I keep myself and anybody that's involved with a giveaway or a break or whatever safe. So always look at stuff like that there. Um, if you're a new breaker out there or... Whatever you're doing, look at just buying the random.org. Pay it 25 bucks a month. Man, it's tax deductible. You get a verified thing that's good for 30 days, and if anything ever came up after 30 days, you show that code's on your screen. Somebody can go and email random.org, and they can verify. It just keeps you out of a lot of hassle. I, I don't know a lot of the other sites, the wheel spinning thing and all that other stuff. Yeah, it looks cool and all that stuff. I got it. The graphics are, you know, right there. But keep yourself safe. Keep everybody that's with you safe. Make sure there's no room for, you know, suspicion or error and whatever it does. But back to what I was saying, the guy's video did cut off into that break. Because this is where I started straying because I started having a different thought process. And I do apologize for that. And, you know, people were upset about it because I guess it was points cards. It was like 400 points and 600 points. And the guy only put first name, last initial. That's why I'm break of mine, unless you have like a screen name that I may know you, I, I'm probably going to put your whole full name in, unless it's YouTube, I'm just going to put your YouTube name in, because 
you know, it's just easier that way. It keeps everybody legit um, and stuff like that there. I mean, I've, I've heard people uh, from taking spots in their own breaks and using other names to whatever the heck else is out there. Man, if you can't fill your break and you only got like two or three scrub teams left, go live, say, guys, you got one hour to send an email out to everybody to take what's left. If not, I'm going to take and we're breaking this product. Because then you've given everybody in your break a chance to purchase those spots and then everybody else, nobody else wanted them and you don't want to hold that break and you're just going to eat the teams. Go, hey, that's on you. I mean, I've done it with one or two teams left and stuff like that. I'm one of them firm believers that if I was running random teams, I, I wouldn't want to take a spot in my own stuff because if I would hit a top team and then hit a top card, I'm taking away from the break itself, especially if it's random teams. But that's just me. Other people see it different ways. Everybody's different viewpoint. So uh, if you guys have more questions on stuff like this, please, please um, hit me up onto it. Um, I, I try to give you guys the best content and knowledge that I have from years of doing this stuff. And even though I backed away pretty much from being a breaker, and I just do more personal boxes, stuff like that, I, I'm always, you can always hit me up for knowledge on stuff. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff out there. I just don't mess with it because it doesn't pertain to my avenue and what I'm doing. Uh, again, if it looks sketchy, guys, like I've always said, stay away from it. Um, just always be aware of what's going on. Just because you got that urge to get in a break and all of a sudden it's a team that you go on all the time, it's there and you can't find anywhere else. You know, I'd hold off. We'll take a look at some past videos, how the dude runs it. You know, if no people in there, talk to him about breaks. I'm not saying not to give everybody a chance, but nowadays you just can't be careful with as many people out there and all the issues that's going on. Tons and tons of issues. It's insane, completely insane. And the stuff that I read each day, um, when I get off of work or if I'm not at work, I spend hours behind the computer reading just to get my knowledge level up there, just so that when somebody asks me something, I can, you know, give a, a response back. And I'm a straight shooter, guys. I've always been straight shooter. Uh, sometimes it's not what people want to hear, but it's just what I believe or what I see. And I could be wrong 100% too, but with what I brought up today, the, these were what was put out. I know there's a big thing in the blowout forum, so if you search like uh, fakerandom.org or something like that, I'm sure it's going to pop up. I know random.org has even put up a clause about it, uh, that they can come after you for stuff like that. I think it was out there before this even happened, that incident like five years ago. But um, yeah, it, it, it's out there. Guys, just watch for that stuff. Watch for it. That's why I'm a big thing about the verified account. I always show it. I always have the code. Um, I usually, if I do it, I'll post the code to chat. It's good for 30 days. So that way, everything's there to make it as honest and reliable as I can out there when I do stuff like that. Um, feel free to pass the video along. Share it. Uh, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. If you like these type of videos that I'm starting to do this year to help everybody out across the board, uh, whether it's showing scams or is it a scam type deal, there's stuff out there. Is it really a scam? It goes in that gray area, and we'll talk about that stuff just to bring all the new collectors up to speed or people just getting back into the hobby, some general knowledge on the stuff, just so that when you go out there and spend your hard-earned money, it's not going to be taken away from you. and you know, it really sucks when something like this happens. It really does. All right, everybody, again, thank you for the support. Um, I'll catch you guys this weekend, either Friday or Saturday or Sunday live. I got a PSA order coming back in. We'll look over. It's the expect, like, top grades. And then uh, I'll have probably have a box. We'll do a, I'll either do a live opening or I'll do a recorded one for you all. Other than that, again, thank you, everybody. I do appreciate it. Have a good, safe week out there. Tenders football this weekend. Hopefully you guys can get some teams and pull some monsters. Let me know if you guys pull some stuff. I like looking at that stuff. Especially if stuff is for sale. I might be interested sometimes. All right. Take care. Have a good one, everybody.